Hey guys, UWG Nick here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, we are gonna go look at what the families are about. What is this quest, though? Molly, oh sh Molly needs to speak to you, an honest mistake. Somebody get caught? Well, I mean, it's right next to us. Why not start from there? We're, we'll save the... We'll save the family business for uh, after this. I. <sighs> so, what do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. Yeah. The rich ones in the big houses. All right, let's talk it out. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. I know. I know Call that's the main me. thing. It's pretty sure. goddamn clear that that is Got the most important eye. thing happening in the you area. This money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. I need to go wash because Arthur is dirty as all hell. I haven't taken a bath in this game yet. <laughs> like, not, not like at a hotel bath kind of thing. I guess I should sometime. But I'm just gonna go for a swim now so I can get my jacket clean. Don't feel right seeing you wearing that badge. Well, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go swim for a little bit. There we go, got a clean ass jacket. There, now I feel better. Ooh, is that the moon? Yeah, I think it is. Wow. Uh, hello, Sadie. I, uh. <laughs> good evening, Arthur. Good evening. I thoroughly enjoy, uh. the look of this game. It's, it's something that really. I'm not the kind of person who thinks a game needs to be, like, graphically impressive to be good. I don't care too much about the graphics when it comes to a game. Like, a good game is a good game, even if it's fucking, like, three pixels jumping around on the screen. If it, if the mechanics are good and, and the, it's an interesting concept, so to speak. But, graphics give spice to a game. And, I mean, this game is... In that sense, very spicy. But when the doubt takes hold of me, I'm a fiend for that stuff. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Pearson? What do you Quite want? A country. Quite a country. Do you have a reason you know, to talk to me? Sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Pearson, you're confusing me for someone who gives a fuck. Now, why do you need to talk to me, Molly? Ah, uh, call me Molly, would you? Oh, are you Sean's Arthur, beau? How is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you I was talking to Miss O'Shea, though. You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it, as long as you ride with him. Well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. There's no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys <laughs> should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Beardy guy's big, by the way. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or 
You get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. I need my hat back. Don't feel right being without a hat. There we go. Come on in, you miserable bastards. Here. How do you get wind of this, old man? We've only been down here all in five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Williamson, that's his favor. name. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith. I wonder what Mr. Shea wanted. That really pissed me off that he, he dropped it like that. I mean, he's supposed to be annoying, so yeah, I get it. What is you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, right. hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be past Okay. I'm gonna go with the normal mask. Through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's get I should be good on like Oh wow, what do I have here? Double action revolver. I haven't actually checked what that is. What like damage wise these things don't do much. Volcanic is definitely something I want. And I think I want this one in that case as well. Just quiet and clean. Bear! Nobody you see, gentlemen? <laughs> just like clockwork. <laughs> Are we just shooting them? I mean, that would have stopped the wagon. All right, fine. Oh, no, it's daytime. All right. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. Hmm. <laughs> Stop the wagon. to get shot but this is a mistake i work for cornwall kerosene and tar <laughs> cornwall oh great so you know <laughs> who doesn't i hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much oh he'll miss it okay why don't you check out around the back arthur help me out here god damn it Rob the wagon. All right. This would be a lot quicker if someone helped me. Now, let's see what's inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. That's like a hundo. Shit. Hey, think I see something. Oh, uh, great. Let's go, Arthur. Let's go. Oh my yeah. lord! Are we just bolting or are we fighting? We're bolting. Hold seat to look behind you at the gang. At the pursuer. Get rid of these sons of bitches. We got a lot of company back there. Nice going, Uncle. <laughs> well, you sure seem like you knew. Whoa. 
while we're shooting. What kind of dumb quick? Whoops. Oh come on, come on, go, 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 go. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Fuck off. I can't shoot. God damn it. You lost. Oh, I lost the gang. Was that it? I do. I, sometimes I don't understand what the game wants me to do. Like, can we start shooting? I'm shooting because I think I get to shoot. I'm not sure. This will have any like fucking negative effects. Oh no, they're shooting as well. Damn it, he didn't shoot enough. Wasted a lot of fucking. Into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. Oh, come on. Right. Is it going to be Whoa. a big shootout? Let's, let, let's hide in here. Quick. Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. Going to be a big Stay shootout. Sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Where are we? All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Right in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... 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 Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... I, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Oh, shit. Are, sh should we be doing something? Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. 
Choke him out. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. Oh, you fucking shot him, dude. Looks you? like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas. God damn it. Out of the way, Bill. Is that all you got? God, get get out of the we way. I don't even have any fucking. I need snake oil. Looks like. Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got it. This is getting hectic. I've got this, Uncle. Well, can I have do I have dynamite? again I know where that went no. oh what the fuck did I die I'm on fire that's what fuck oh this got hectic Jesus why they have to shoot him they could have just knocked him out he could have gotten some silent kills looks like we're shooting our way Give me, give, give me, give me. There we go. We're gonna have to eat something. Oregano game. Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone up this. That's why I got dishonorable. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Oh my god, how long are you gonna load? Where 
where where is he? Where is he? Fuck. take some snake oil because I have a feeling we're gonna have to be shooting our way out of here all the way. Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. That's an idea. This turned out to be a much more ex exciting thing than I expected. I thought this would be a quick one. Just talk to Miss O'Shea, go figure something out with the cart and leave. Split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. And yeah, with you. Come on! Can't even see anything here. Quietly? That was not fucking quietly. Where's somebody? Jesus, this why is it always turning to a mess with these guys? Shoot him! Can beat him, beat his ass. Worn double action revolver, no. We all still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run, quick. Good luck, Jens. <sighs> Stay quiet and move. I fucked up that silent part really hard. 112. Well, that's something, I guess. Where's Jose? Good horsey. Hey there, girl. Yeah. This was a fucking mess. Jesus. I ain't even gonna loot any of them. I'm just gonna fuck off. Right. So we're out in the middle of nowhere. Who is this? Lenny? Yep. Well, Lenny can set it up. We we need to get to these things that we actually should be doing. Can I jump the gate? I can just fucking smash through it. Holy shit. I cannot cause trouble or use weapons. Deal. What do you want, boy? This here the gray plantation? Yep. Gallagher Hall. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. 
deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. No, I'm not uh, talking with you. I don't deal with minions. Ask around a Caligo Hall to find him out for the Grace. No, I'm riding. Hello, Saw. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh, <laughs> I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. All right. Well, Master Bo, I'm coming to you. I don't think grabbing the horse is a good idea here. It'd probably cost more trouble than it would it'd be worth. Walkie walkie. Howdy, sir. Howdy. Down by the wood store. There we go. What a woodchuck. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Master Bo? Uh, I'll see you at the sheriff's office. <sighs> Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? <laughs> Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope, but it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's got a phone and everything. Tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. Well, now. We've always got money. No brains, mine, but money. Well, in that case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter. And this bracelet, please. Can I keep the bracelet? Oh, look out for their guard. They work with strangers than ours are. Oh. Sneak into the grounds around Braithwaite Manor. Oh shit, it's a sneaky mission. Well I doubt anything exciting is gonna happen on the way there, so I'm just gonna see you there. Where's my goddamn hole? You better follow that order, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go off to? A tea party in the back? What the fuck? Hanging out with the breakaway horses? That's no, the gray horses. Huh, gray horses. Huh. And he's a white one. Oh, she. Because it's a girl. I keep forgetting. Boom. Okay, so let's go find out about Braithwaite's. This is a regular old Romeo and Juliet story, ain't it? So chapter 3 is probably going to be about these families and it's going to end up with probably both of them hating the, the Lindemann gang. Lindervan, whatever his name is. Dutch's gang. Us, basically. Well, just jump the goddamn fence then. All right, just or break it, you know. As long as we don't have to pay for it. This does look like... I mean, it's a big area, but it does look more run down. Oh, wait. There was something about guards and shit. Now, what looks like a gazebo? I'm gonna scan the area a little bit here. No, don't. 
I'm about to shoot you. No, 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 no. Somebody could tell me beware of the goddamn bulls. Jesus. Did they have to be over here? The perfect lookout spot. Now it's all misty and shit. No, I'm not. There we go. Well, and now that... I don't fucking know. Where's the gazebo? Oh, over there? Yeah. Oh, there's the sneaking. Put away. Orchard, which is in front of their house, and around the house there are guards. There's one. We're gonna be fle flexing the map a lot here, I think. Okay, there's one behind me as well. What prevents me from just riding around the whole thing? That guy? I think this way would be the best. On. These sneaks missions are. Oh, fuck off. This one ain't supposed to be here. This is a private plantation. Get out of here now. Get Miss Penelope inside. These guys ain't kidding around. Like, I know that trespassing is like fucking high crime in the US, but Jesus. Maybe ask if I'm lost? You know what? We're gonna take the horse and we're gonna try riding around the whole thing. I'm gonna make this easy on me. Okay. what the game does with this kind of tactic. Straight shot down to the lake. And then follow the shore. Fuck it, I can swim. I don't need to sneak. Arthur knows how to swim. Don't be stupid, stupid. Make it easy on yourself. That letter's gonna be soaked to the shit. Soaked to shit, but oh well. Ain't my issue. Damn near drowned as well. Hello, Miss Penelope. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. She ain't that amazing. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> Bo, he is so... Strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages, or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Ew. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. You got a lazy eye? Yeah, they tolerate him because of the money. 
But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. Are you blind? Here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Something fucked up about your eyes, lady. Without being seen, all right. Well, we're swimming it again. You know we can make it, so. At least we could make it last time. I didn't even pay attention to the damn uh, stamina meter that time. Nope, now we can't make it anymore. We're gonna drown. Perfect. We are about to drown. You now the health's gonna start ticking down. I might make it. It's gonna be tight though. Oh, there we go. Easy peasy. Ain't even a thing. We just skirt along, along the shoreline there and boom, we're out of there. What the fuck was that? It's riding through. Now everybody's calm again. All right. Let's see. We are heading towards... Actually, fuck it. We're going back to camp. If I see Bo again, I should give him the letter, but that doesn't mean I have to go look for him. Are you going to start shooting me if I ride around here, or...? No, everybody's cool. Cool. And cinematic as shit. It would have been interesting to live during this time. Like, romantically, it would have been very, very interesting. But, uh... On the other hand, it would also have been a lot harder to live. I like, I, for one, no internet. That's a thing. This is gorgeous, though. This is really beautiful. Like these old, 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 old trees. They're just amazing. Like in real life, they're amazing. I love oaks. Old oaks. There's a... We don't have a lot of them in Finland, actually. In southern Finland, there are oaks. And there, I've seen a couple of really old ones that are really cool. But they're not like a common tree here. Not in my opinion, at least. Uh, but then again, I grew up in... I don't know, like 500 kilometers north of here. We don't really have oaks there. But here in Southern Finland, there are a few. So maybe I'm fucking out my ass sitting in Southern Finland saying that they aren't that common. But either way, they always... I don't know, I always feel a sense of awe when you stand like under underneath a really big, old oak. Because those things can be hundreds of years old. They've seen like two world wars and shit. And they're still standing there. And I'm just like, I just arrived on this planet. I'm already done with it. <laughs> Right, uh, I'm going to end today's stream here. Uh, if you've been watching, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please forget to leave a like, uh, follow, or if you're on YouTube, subscribe and share my channel and video with other people's ultra wide screens. I know people like, like to watch Let's Plays because that's what I do. Uh, I'm going to stream again same time tomorrow, which is in according to finish time in like the morning, or 9 o'clock. I really don't have time with you right now. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Can I hit not now? Okay, okay, say no more. Fuck off. You're lost, Arthur. You're so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stream again tomorrow. So if you enjoyed this, uh, feel free to drop by then again in approximately 21 hours or something like that. I'm gonna stream or 20 hours ish around that time. But if you follow my channel, then you'll get a notification, so you don't have to worry about when it is. You'll just get a pop up saying, "Hey, I'm streaming." Either way, uh, next episode we are gonna see what that what Lenny wants and then maybe return to Bo and give him the letter back and we'll see where that leads because it's gonna become dramatic pretty goddamn soon I'm sure of that and uh, yeah keep fighting our way through chapter 3 I guess
not much else for us to do. But in the meantime, he is going to sleep until... Yeah, until morning. That's perfect. All right, this is where I end it. So, see you in the next one. For now, bye-bye.